so many things they got as weapons in the United States on the black mind. The mind is invisible. The brain, you can take the brain out and look at it, but the mind is invisible. Mm. And it's the most powerful thing, like I was telling you, the, un, the unseen, the black, the void. That is the highest. So your mind is the highest, but you can't see your mind. Now I can take my brain out, or I can take someone's brain out and show you the brain. And what does the brain look like when you look at it? It looks like a maze. Yes. Because it is a maze. You have to fight your brain and the pathways of the brain to get anything manifested. So like, if you want to invent something, your brain, you have to fight the brain. The brain is in the way of manifestation. So if I want to, if I want to draw a picture, I have to hold it in my mind long enough to be able to put it on a physical medium. Right. Paper. You see what I'm saying? But mm -hmm. your brain is resisting you. So this is one of the, uh, when, you know, when I was talking about the spiritual enslavement that we are in, your brain is your enemy. You look at it and that is it. It's almost like rape. The reason I say that is there's no laws on commercials yet, but a commercial is rape. I'm going to tell you why a commercial is rape. It's mind rape. Because whether you want to see the commercial or not, they show it to you. They make you watch the commercial. So since they know the science of the brain, it takes seven times for things to go from short-term memory to long-term memory. That's how the brain works regardless. The brain is like a computer. Yes. So it has to respond, even if you don't like the material. If you hear a song seven times, I don't care if you hate the song, you're going to be singing that song. So when you are forced to watch commercials, whether you like them or not, the seventh time that you see that, they have won. They have raped you, basically, by giving you something in a repetitious manner that your brain now has stored in long-term memory and they got the advantage of you. The Monopoly logo or the man on the Monopoly board is the fashion actor John D. Rockefeller, mm -hmm. which is David Rockefeller's father. Mm -hmm. That game is the United States. Mm -hmm. That's real. See what I'm saying? That's a simulation war game to train you some of the things that they have stole when it comes to ownership like with Michael Jackson he owned the Beatles catalog which is worth billions of dollars mm -hmm. okay? mm -hmm. and somehow they're setting this thing up I even looked at it further you know the children that they say are Michael Jackson's children have no biological DNA from him they are pure white they are pure Caucasian there is no black blood um you can look at their features and you, you can tell that those are not Michael Jackson's children. So I thought ahead because I have a younger brother. And because of the age gap, he grew up not knowing who Michael Jackson was. And that was hard for me to, because you know, that's a given. Oh, you know who Michael Jackson is, you see what I'm saying? But I had to educate him and he had to go look at film on who Michael Jackson was. So that made me think of the situation, how they're setting this up with these white children who are the inheritors of his fortune that when this new generation, a new child is born, when those kids now, when they become 30 and four years old, mm -hmm. like what, what, who they claim are his children, guess what? The new generation is gonna say, they're not gonna see Michael Jackson, they're gonna see those white kids, and they're gonna say, oh, Michael Jackson must have been white. What we are about the business now is awakening.